Hello YouTube, this is a short quick tutorial. I can give you an example, let's say that you stream or your community can hear your broadcast and once you got done of streaming you want to go highlight your videos or just do a short clip but your whole audio is cut off. Honestly thinking it was Twitch but actually this is, has to do with the Streamlab software because of the update. So I can give you an example because this actually happened to me. Let's say I was playing Plants vs. Zombies. You can see it's not muted, but I honestly can't hear myself. And this is no point, no point for me to highlight this. And let's say that here's Days Gone, one of the whole game, but I don't hear audio. So I'm like, okay, what's the issue here? So I did a test. Just, you know, a quick little test, just to, at least to hear myself. And still, no audio during my microphone. And it's still on, as you can see. So I actually found out what's the problem. I would suggest you guys is to go look up your Windows chain system sounds. And check of your playback. Make sure it's at default, because this is what I'm using. Same goes for my microphone, default communication. So that's what I use. Make sure your recording is at default as well. Thus, you don't need to worry about that. Next, go to your settings. Make sure your output is in, in the correct option. Same goes with input. Advanced settings, everything is default for me. I haven't changed anything with the default settings. Now, you want to know what's the issue here? Well, I can give you an example. So my audio, desktop audio, is at default. Here's default one. Microphone, it's fine. Output, I honestly don't use uh, Twitch VOD because I don't use a uh, soundtrack by Twitch Beta, so I stopped using that. I just in install it, so I don't see a point to using it anymore. So, you want to know what's the bigger issue that Streamlabs made this update? So, you go click on those settings. Alright, you see 1111, right? Go to global settings. You see the, auto tr uh, the audio tracks? You only see one, right? Here's your problem. Those are disabled. I'm like, why those are disabled? I never put those disabled. Turn those babies on because that's where your past broadcast is no audio input in there. If those things are off and you only see one, yeah, there's your problem. There's Streamlabs' problem. Of course, it got me frustrated because I honestly trying to figure this out on my own because, you know, nobody's going to help me. I, you, you have to do it on your own. So once you turn those babies on, do a go live test and you will honestly thank me later. Because I've been streaming for three years and this is something new that I never experienced this kind of issue. So here's a test. Once those babies are on. Alright. This is probably a third test. This is gonna be the game audio. You can finally hear yourself from your past broadcast. And now you can finally start doing highlights or shorts with your clips, of your Twitch clips. But yeah, you can thank me later now. Enjoy.